Six BBS Chris here. That's the setup for the uh, the buddy pole. Um, you know, to always double check, make sure your antenna is vertical. The pole, for some reason today, is very crooked, but as long as the antenna is vertical, that's all that really matters. Uh, don't uh, you know? Don't fuss over it too much, but enough to make sure that it is vertical and the counterpoise is in there, as you can see, attached to the bike. And now, time to. Tune up. Okay, to uh, tune the radio uh, with the buddy pole, uh, you, all you need to do is uh, get your, uh, your push to talk and uh, just whistle into it with a real high pitched whistle. So uh, here you go. And then uh, try to find a frequency that's empty and do that. <laughs> and then uh, as you whistle in, you'll see the SWR meter here. Uh, the sweet spot for me is three, so let's give it a shot. Okay, so three, three and a half, four, uh, that's good enough to work uh, uh, HF. So we're on 20 meters, so that is the, um, if you look at the antenna setup where the bike is, the counterpoise, the white wire there, uh, is about 17 feet, 17.2 feet out. Uh, that's the sweet spot for, for 20 meters. Um, and uh, and that's it. So uh, let's get some uh, QSLs going.
W0HSN, uh, Coast Guard Key West. W0HSN, this is Coast Guard Center Key West, over. Uh, original contact time was 18.05 Zulu, copy. affirmative uh, Coast Guard. They were not in distress at that time. Uh, they had been demasted. They had one uh, one mast, uh, the mizzen mast, uh, under sail, but they were going to switch to engine power, I believe. Roger, Captain. We'll quickly stand by at this time. Over. Roger. Uh, been to Irving many times, so uh, yeah, know where you're at and what your weather is. I lived in Phoenix for uh, for a few years, so I also know the weather out that way. So anyway, yeah, maybe I'll turn into a snowbird. You're down to bother all them people in Arizona every winter. Hi, hi. <laughs> KJ6, BDS, KG5CR returning. Uh, KG5, CR, KJ6, BBS, uh, fine business, fine business. Uh, yeah, maybe you can be a snowbird. I, uh, I don't know what that means, but, uh, I'll take your word for it. Um, I'm not too familiar with snow in that part of the country. I, uh, used to attend Ole Miss, uh, the University of Mississippi, uh, uh, back in the late 90s and uh, never experienced any snow but uh, a lot of ice storms right around uh, this time of year or rolling into February during Mardi Gras. So it gave all the students at the school a good excuse to uh, make an escape uh, down to New Orleans to celebrate Mardi Gras. Hi, hi. Uh, so yeah, Irvine is a great place to stay. I love it here. I've been here for three years. I'm originally from New York and um, I, I just love the state of California. It's very big, very beautiful, and I uh, love the weather as well. Um, uh, back to you, uh, KG5CR, KJ6BBS. Uh, roger, roger, Chris. Listen, I sit and listen, and I, I just have to laugh because uh, I've always, uh, you know, talked about uh, uh, going low power, but I uh, have yet to figure out exactly how to do it. But uh, I think you might have something to teach me. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Roger that, Jerry. Uh, it's uh, it's very simple. It's not a, a hard setup at all. Uh, all you do really um, is, you know, you have to find the right antenna. I spent a really long time researching uh, antennas, and the buddy pole uh, was the the best scenario for me because I like to be portable as well as. Um, uh, you know, having small components so that I can get on my mountain bike and go out to a hilltop or something and work uh, HF radio. The good news is I live in a very rural area. Uh, there's only 7,000 people in the entire county. Uh, and uh, uh, in, in my, quote, neighborhood, I, I, uh, I have uh, probably four or five houses, and most of them are five to 600 uh, feet maximum or minimum away from me. So uh, that's, uh, that's good news. And then uh, I have uh, mountains all around me, so uh, I could uh, go up and, and easily get to oh, 7,000 feet in just a few minutes. Go ahead. 